you might be wondering, Nestor, where were the videos in the past week? Well, practically you had to visit family in Ecuador for half the month, which caused videos to be a bit off schedule. Anyways, I'm back with a lot of new video ideas, so expect videos to pick up in the next week. And that's pretty much it. Let's get straight into the video. <laughs> Alright, good morning guys, and welcome to a video that a lot of you guys have requested. I just woke up, so if I sound a bit off, that's why. But, to quickly explain to you guys what this video is gonna be, it's gonna be me, Mensley, and maybe Tyler's if he's available, explaining really what happened with Ultra. If you guys didn't know, right now the server is completely down, and there's been a lot of speculation on what happened, and the main reason why no one from Ultra has really said anything is because we were told to not say anything until we were allowed to. So we finally got the green light, so now we're gonna be explaining to you guys what really happened, what's been happening in the past few months, and really to shut down a lot of rumors. Anyways, that's enough talking, I'm gonna go get in TS with the guys, and we'll explain everything we can. Hello guys, my name is Daniel, and I'm here with Dawson and Nestor, and today we're gonna explain what happened to Ultra. In this video, we're gonna address what caused the server to go offline. We're gonna uh, explain why it took so long for us to make this video. And uh, we want to apologize for uh, you having to wait so long. So, um, what caused the server to go offline a few weeks ago was that John and the development team did not see eye to eye with us anymore. Uh, John, from, from the get-go, all of us were very motivated. Uh, we all had great plans for Ultra. And uh, I think we succeeded in these. We changed the game, we changed the pace of UHC, we uh, got a lot of great feedback from the community and a lot of love and support. However, however, a few months in, um, not all of us were as motivated as the start, uh, especially John, and John is the head of the development team. John funds the entire project, John is in charge of the entire project. And without him, we can't do anything. So the past uh, a few, I think two months before we closed the server down, we saw less and less motivation from John as he got more and more invested in other projects, which caused the, uh, the server to slow down a lot, which most of you must have noticed. And it came to the point that six weeks ago, I think, um, we didn't feel felt we didn't feel it was right to keep the server online as we couldn't provide what we promised. And since that moment, we've been trying alongside with John to find new owners for Ultra to do revive that spark of motivation and to do try and reach our goals. Uh, but that has been a long process that we still have not been able to complete uh, and therefore, we're just coming out with this video right now to address it all so you all know what's going on. Alright, so to extend from what Mensley said about what caused this to happen, from the beginning, j Hall really funded the whole thing from his pocket. He was like the head, he was on top. And he was like the engine of the server, so without him, we really couldn't proceed. And we we asked him if we could get someone to do the tasks for him, because I knew he was really busy, he had a bunch of servers, and a lot of better opportunities. We were told it really wasn't possible, so this was kind of a problem. This is what caused a lot of the delays on multiple aspects of the server, since he had a lot of projects on his hand. And at the start of September, we discussed what were our options that were best for the server, because we had announced UHC run, team UHC meetups, and a lot of other things, and they really weren't coming out. And a lot of the community, I guess, wasn't really happy about that. So we gave one more try on trying to see if the changes in new games were going to be implemented. And in the end, nothing really ended up happening because John was busy with other projects and Ultra really wasn't worth his time anymore. And not in a bad way because he just had better opportunities elsewhere. So can't really blame him if it's down to business. So because of this, I privately left ownership on September 20th. And I was in good terms though. I didn't make it public anywhere because I didn't want the server to like get any hey i didn't want it to go down immediately and my intentions weren't to leave ultra and just like play somewhere else i still want to support ultra i'm still going to support ultra if it continues with someone else so after that j-hop really didn't see ultra worth the time anymore and that he had better opportunities elsewhere so dawson will explain later really what happens next anyways extending from that we decided that september and all october donations are going to be refunded 
So we don't know exactly when that'll happen because me, Daniel, Dawson, or any of the Ultra owners don't actually own the PayPal. It's just really, I think, John, as far as I know. So I don't know exactly when he'll be doing that. I know he will, though. He's a man of his word when it comes to money. So yeah, that's pretty much what caused it to happen. And Dawson's going to explain the rest. <laughs> So basically the reason this video took so long to make is that we were told not to talk about Ultra until we knew if the server could be sold to somebody else. I know that JL has been talking to a couple other people who have owned servers in the past or own servers now that are very interested in purchasing Ultra. But then again, uh, Nestor, Daniel, and I have very limited information about that. We have heard some things, but it's not 100%. Anyways, that's it for about Ultra and the future of Ultra. Now we're going to go on our own to do a little bit of extra talking about, I guess, what happened on our own channel. So if you guys want to see any of the videos all of us are uploading, check out Dawson or Daniel or check me if you're watching their videos. But yeah, it was good talking and we'll be back soon. Alright, fun fact guys, that recording, I was messing up so much, I think out of the 24 minutes of recording time that we did there, 20 minutes was me just stuttering and everything, so hopefully it doesn't show up in other videos, it probably does. Anyways, I hope we answered as many questions about Ultra as we could, because it's really sad to see, I guess, what's happened to Ultra, how it's down, and how it's, I guess, sort of discontinued, but I hope a good owner takes it on, and I'll still be supporting the server no matter what, I could be working with another server, but I'll still be playing on Ultra, just because, like, I sort of started it from the beginning with j Hall, so I'm never gonna have bad blood for it, and I don't really have bad blood with anyone on the Ultra team, I just want to say thank you to the staff who helped Ultra stay alive, because a lot of the staff did an amazing job, even if they got demoted, even if they got banned, they did a great job for while they were there, most of them and i want to give a big thanks to psyche he was an amazing admin he pretty much carried ultra staff team on his back and yeah i'm really sorry to everyone for this happening to ultra i'm sorry that it took so long to say this we were strictly told to not say anything none of the owners none of the admins so we're finally here we finally got the green light and i'm sorry it took so long also hopefully this clears up any of the speculations people were saying mojang banned us like it was like big rumor i don't know who started that rumor anyways it's wrong but yeah, guys, we really tried our best to keep it alive. Like me, Semino D, Doss, and Mensley, all the owners, we constantly had docs. We constantly made information about new games and I guess what to make Ultra great. But in the end, I guess we were just put on a stop. But yeah, guys, if you have any more questions that I can answer, feel free to comment down below. I can't answer everything. If you guys are wondering about Cheap Breaker, I don't know anything. Like, I really don't know anything. I'm just a tester. I gotta say this every time when I talk about Ultra or John. So please don't ask about Cheap Breaker. I really don't know. And if you guys go watch Mensley or Tyler's, they're going to be speaking more about it on their videos. And yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope this video wasn't too long. Hope you guys enjoyed the background footage. It's just some random videos I had saved. It's just some random UTCs I had saved on my computer. I have one more UTC highlights on Ultra saved on my channel. So that'll be up one of these days. It's really bad quality because it was a really weird stream. And also, I'm part of a giveaway in the description for Happy Soul Ranks. But yeah, that's going to be it. Hopefully, Ultra comes back one day with great owners. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys in the next video.